Right, item number 4.5, adoption of standing orders. Uh, Mrs. Tina Jakes. Good morning, Mrs. Jakes. Morning. So as uh, pointed out on this agenda item, the local government um, New Zealand have been working on a new set of standing orders um, for use by local government and um, those are attached. There are a couple of um, three points that they've asked us to um, to consider. Uh, one is in relation to um, the Chairman's casting vote. Uh, the second is around the ability to have audio-visual links and the third is around a choice between um, which option we'd like to choose for motions and amendments. So the uh, recommendation is that um, the chairperson's casting vote, um, he does have a cast, he or she does have a casting vote, which is what the recommendation is from uh, Local Government New Zealand, um, and the ability to have an audio-visual link uh, I think is um, certainly something that we want to have in there for future proofing um, that ability. And in terms of uh, the motions and amendments, our recommendation is option C, which um, reflects the current practice uh, that uh, this council operates under. Okay. There's just on your, um, on your table, there was just this... Um, amendment that uh, we received after the agenda uh, was distributed from Local Government New Zealand and it's just in relation to option B where there, there is, a, is a change um, to that. So that's really just for your information. Okay, thank you. Mr Jakes, any questions or queries for Mr Jakes? Well, Mr Chairman, yes I do. Mr uh, Body? Three years ago I raised the same issue at this particular day in regards of our standing orders. Uh, the thing that concerns me, and, and, and I need to be corrected on this, if we go to page 20, 28 of the agenda, uh, it states we have uh, an amendment, or two amendments. One is the draft Taupo District Council standing orders, and yet we've been asked to approve standing orders. Are we looking at a draft, or the final version? So, um, Mr. Mr Chairman, the, um, when when a document's put up to you, it's in a draft form, and when you've moved the motion, it becomes the substantive substantive one, yes. Could I ask the question, when did we as a previous council, or the previous council, get the draft to go through? The reason I raise it is the old one, which is this one here, has 55 pages, the new one has 77. So have we sat down as a council and gone through the new draft? Um, no, you haven't. Could I then go back three years ago when this issue was raised and the legal person at the time came into the, the chamber and spoke about the review that's come up and what we've got before us now and say that eventually we would have a new one um, with some changes. Um, I also knew, said, uh, Mr Chairman, before, bring a bit of humour in, so I'm going to refer back to the wise old man of our district council, Moses Hickling. Is he listening? <laughs> Three years ago, in this debate that we had, Councillor Hickney at the time said, and I'll read it out word for word basically, adopt the provisions of standing orders, i.e. the ones that we've got now at that time, which is what I'm asking for, until the new standing orders uh, would come through. And that was the suggestion of um, Councillor Hickling. So I have moved uh, an amendment, and I don't want to go into the changes that I don't agree or disagree with. I and once again bring up that we, as a previous council and a new council, have not gone through this draft. There may be things we like in it, we don't like in it. It's not the Bible; it can be amended. So I would like to move that we continue with our existing standing orders until a public workshop or some other public forum takes place to go through these new standing orders. And I would move that way. How the councillors <coughs> feel about that? Um, standing orders, I presume, is the standard template from local government New Zealand. That's correct. Yeah. So, as their as their mind of the councillors, they want to change the national template on this. There will be some um, training opportunities, uh, as this is quite new. They have uh, local government New Zealand actually haven't um, put out the dates for for that training yet. So there is an opportunity. Um, to attend that training to have a look at the standing orders. 
And again, um, at any time, the standing orders can come back to council to be um, to be changed. You need seventy five percent of uh, of those present to to change those. Okay. Um, do do all councils use these same set of standing orders? Uh, that's the aim of uh, this in terms of local government New Zealand as a template for all councils to use. Councillor Cousins, through the chair. So, uh, just to confirm, Councillor Body, you're saying that you want the opportunity to be able to read all this and discuss them before we adopt them. Is that's what you're saying? Is <coughs> yes, that correct? Now, this uh, incoming council, indeed the previous one, never had the chance to go through them some months ago. And Mrs. Jakes may well remember, I did get the draft. Uh, that draft has this new one has things in it, but this one doesn't. So if we're working on that, but as a council, we're not discuss it. I'm not saying that eventually we'll adopt what local government New Zealand recommends. What I'm saying is that we, we stick with the existing standing orders until that is done. Okay. Um, is there any um, second of uh, councillors' bodies? No. Councillor Hickling? I was going to speak to it. You can speak to it, yes. Um, Hickling? I'm uh, quite comfortable with uh, adopting these standing orders, uh, Your Worship. Um, it's um, a standard template which majority of all councils in New Zealand would, would use. Um, it can be amended as we go through the triennium if that is what we wish. Uh, but I'd, um, I'd feel very comfortable about adopting them today, Your Worship. Thank you, Councillor Hickling. Okay, there appears to be no... Yep, Councillor Williamson? Yeah, through the Chair, I tend to support uh, Councillor Hickling's view that we're, um, it's, we're just adopting the, the LGNZ Equip Standing Orders with minor amendments, and the, the question here is on the page, on the page now to try and discuss those three, those three amendments. I, just, I don't see why we're retracing back three years. We're looking at this, this triennium. All right, there appears to be no uh, seconder for Councillor Body's suggestion, so what I'll do is go to the suggested recommendation there and just straight to the recommendation on four, four bar five, page 26. Okay, the recommendation there. I'll move, move suggested resolution. Moved by Councillor Hickling, seconded by Councillor Williamson. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against? Could I have mine recorded, please? So, um, Councillor Body against? Record, please. Thank you very much.